Yeah, my name is James Favell. Um, I am from New York City, New York. I was born in Queens. And I guess technically I'm now an alumni. I just finished the, the second year. I, I guess I, I didn't know exactly what my problem was in, until I got here. I, I knew I was kind of hitting my head against the wall um, in trying to create these characters. I would find a way to do it um, kind of organically, but I, I didn't really know how to build uh, a, a character. I had no idea what character work really was. That turned out to be my problem, along with a lot of other things. <laughs> but that was, that was kind of what stood out. Um, and I, saw, I, I met all these great actors um, who came from the studio, who'd been here. Um, and anytime I saw someone do a reading, mostly at Labyrinth, um, I'd go up and be like, oh, where do you guys train? And it seemed like across the board, everyone said Maggie, 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 go see Maggie. So I just went and saw Maggie. <laughs> Um, the, f the first year was, um, was very enlightening. Um, once you get past dealing with kind of the, the frustration, you know, I think I get used to, I have this weird thing where I, I, I love to know everything. I like to know what's going on, how to do it, and kind of starting over, you know, being, being an actor for you know, kind of four or five years and thinking I knew something, and then coming here and kind of having my mind completely blown. So the first year of just exercises um, really opened me up, um, really changed the way I listened and responded, you know, just something I thought I was really good at. <laughs> um, it's interesting what you think and then uh, what you actually know. Uh, yeah, I mean, personally, my, li my life is at a completely different place than it was when I got here. I, I really wanted to find a place where I could kind of take responsibility for the artistry in my life. I figured the one thing that would be in my control is kind of how good of an artist I would be and how hard I could work. Um, and I was like, this, this turned out to be the place that I could actually do that. Because the, the business is so kind of, as you know, insane. Um, the one thing I felt like that could be in my control is how good the work I was doing. So, so that's how I ended up here. And I guess that's what was happening to me personally, I was really struggling with kind of direction, you know. I, I didn't think the work I was doing was good enough. I think there's a certain clarity and a certain direction um, that I have now that I didn't have before. Um, and that's in the work that I'm doing, that I'm lucky enough to do, uh, and then in life as well. Um, so being able to kind of attack the work and attack life from this new angle of kind of clarity. Um, and when I say clarity, I guess kind of just being totally aware of what's going on with me, how I feel, um, what I want, things like that. These questions that we kind of ask ourselves, these basic questions that Maggie has us ask ourselves um, from the get-go. So direction, which is a crazy thing. I'm almost a grown-up now. <laughs> and. Uh, and kind of more clear on the work that I can do and, and want to be doing, yeah. I started with move. I just started with movement, so I'm kind of a little out of order. So I just started with movement, and uh, it's it's great. It's really great. It, it was necessary for, for for me just to stay in my body, you know. Especially when those emotions come in, I start screaming and uh, and go and go blank, you know. So. But, but yeah, I, j I just started the movement, um, and the idea is to go through all of them, so. It's, it's one of those things that I, I guess it's really hard to describe. Um, with, with Maggie, just her, her generosity, um, I, I really, the only thing I knew when I got here is that I, I would work hard, and I really wanted to be, uh, or to have an understanding of the work. And she really set me up to succeed. Um, I, I, had, I got a play in the middle of my first year, and it was this character that's nothing like me. You know, he's like a freestyle rapper from the street and all this stuff. And I'm in the middle of the first year of work, and I, I didn't know what to do. And I, I went to Maggie, and she, she took the time to just to, to figure it out with me, to, to give me a bit of the second year work to clear up my understanding uh, and give me a direction ahead so I didn't go completely crazy. Um, 
and also just the, the gifts of the work, you know, the, the, the studio's really committed to that. Maggie and, and Charlie or who I've had most experience with and they're always open and always available for you if you bust your ass, you know, if you're working really hard then they're there for you. So they've, they've saved my ass in many ways, mostly artistically. <laughs> Just how personal it is, I know that sounds, it probably sounds redundant, um, but j just it, it coming 100% from, from me um, and kind of having the faith to create in that direction. So I, I didn't know, I, had, I really had no idea what it was before b besides the fact that I knew all these actors who who really came really alive when they were doing it, you know, and um, so the fact that I can kind of go through a script and make everything uh, incredibly personal, that was the first thing that really blew my, blew my, uh, my mind, for sure, yeah.